Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Now let's solve this particular problem which says that locate the centroid of this uh, blue shaded area and the this shaded area is defined by this curvature and this curvature has a function of y as a function of x. So y equals to a cos of pi x divided by l. So we need to find the y bar and x bar. So as we can see that this shaded area is symmetrical about the y-axis so this means that its centroid will be located on this y-axis so this means that x bar will be equals to zero due to the symmetry now y bar will be equal to the integration of y tilde times dA divided by the integral of dA now for this we have to define our differential area so let's say that this is my differential area which is located at a distance of x from the origin and its height is let's say its height is y and its height will be equal to the y coordinate at this particular point and this is located at a distance of x so now we can write that d a equals to y multiply by dx and dx is, is its width so we will multiply it with dx now as we know that y is given as a function of x so we can write that dA is equal to a cos of pi x divided by l dx and then to integrate this we need to apply the integration and the integration is from l divided by minus l divided by 2 this is minus l divided by 2 to plus l divided by 2 this a is constant we can write it outside of the integration so we are left with this integration so this integral of dA equals to we can write this as a and the integral of cos of pi x divided by l is sine of pi x divided by l and divided by the pi by l or we can write it as L A divided by pi. So this is L A divided by pi. So this will give, when we apply this integration, this will give us the this total blue shaded area. So this is, we can write this as L A divided by pi sine of pi x divided by L and and we need to apply those limits so this is minus l divided by 2 to plus l divided by 2 so now we can apply these limits so this is l a divided by pi and sine of pi divided by l into x so x is l divided by 2 this is plus l divided by 2 minus sine of pi divided by l into minus l divided by 2 the lower limit is minus l divided by 2 so this l will cancel out so we will be left with pi divided by 2 this is pi divided by 2 and this is uh, this will be minus pi divided by 2 this l will cancel out, so we will be left with minus pi divided by 2 so minus pi divided by 2 so sine of pi divided by 2 this is 1 minus and sine of minus pi divided by 2 is minus 1 so this will become uh, plus 1 so we will get it is 2 l a divided by pi so the 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 total area which is equal to the integration or the summation of the areas of all the differential strips and this is equal to 2 l a divided by pi so now in this equation we know this integral which is equal to let me write it is uh, 2 l a divided by pi now we need to in we need to find this integration so let me write that this is y tilde times d a and y tilde is the location of the centroid of this differential element from the x-axis so the centroid of this differential area will be located at its geometric center somewhere here and this the location of this centroid from the y-axis is defined by y tilde 
and as we can see that the height of this differential area is y so y tilde is located at half of its height so y tilde mean is equal to y divided by 2 so now i can write that this is y divided by 2 times da and da is y dx so i will write this as y dx so if we multiply this so this will become we can write 1 by 2 outside and this will, will become y square dx y square dx and now this is 1 divided by 2 and as we know that y is given as a function of x so y we can write that this is a cos of pi x divided by l square dx and if i apply this square so this will become a square and cos square and we can write this a square outside of the integration as well so this is a square now we need to integrate this and this integration is again from minus l divided by 2 to plus l divided by 2 now to find this integral we have to simplify it right so as we know that uh, cos of alpha plus beta this is equal to cos alpha cos of beta minus sine of alpha sine of beta and if alpha and beta are equal so we can write that this is alpha plus alpha so this will become cos alpha cos alpha sine alpha sine alpha and this will become cos square alpha and this will become sine square alpha so cos square alpha minus sine square alpha and now we know that cos square alpha plus sine square alpha this is equal to 1 so from this we can write that sine square alpha equals to 1 minus cos square alpha so this is cos of 2 alpha and this is equal to cos square alpha and instead of sine square alpha i can write it like this so this is minus 1 minus cos square alpha or we can write that this is cos square alpha minus 1 plus cos square alpha and this will add up so we will have 2 cos square alpha minus 1 and this is equal to cos of 2 alpha and from this we can write this if I bring this minus 1 to the other side so it will have we will have 1 plus cos of 2 alpha and if we divide both sides by 2 cos square alpha is equal to this thing now if alpha is pi x divided by l so we can write that cos square alpha instead of alpha we need to write pi x divided by l so this is equal to or we can write it is 1 divided by 2 1 plus cos 2 alpha so 1 divided by 2 1 plus cos of 2 pi x divided by l so now we are left with this so we can replace this with this so now we can write that if i write this integral now if i continue that integral so that is a square divided by 2 from minus l divided by 2 to plus l divided by 2 and from this i can write it as 1 divided by 2 1 plus cos of 2 pi x divided by l into dx so now we can take this 1 divided by 2 outside of the integral so this will become a square divided by 4 so a square divided by 4 integration from minus l divided by 2 to plus l divided by 2 and if i integrate this so this will be if i integrate this so there is no need to write this so this will be uh, x plus, uh, and the integral of cos is sine so i will write plus sine of 2 pi x divided by l divided by 2 pi divided by l or we can write it as l divided by 2 pi and the limits are from minus l divided by 2 to plus l divided by 2 
So this is a square divided by 4. And now if I put these limits, so this is plus L divided by 2 plus, we can write it as L divided by 2 pi sine of 2 pi divided by L into X and X is L divided by 2. So L divided by 2 minus now this x is minus l divided by 2 so now this is minus l divided by 2 plus l divided by 2 pi sine of 2 pi divided by l and x is minus l divided by 2 so now this will cancel out and 2 will cancel out so we will be left with sine of pi this is sine of pi and this is sine of minus pi. This is sine of minus pi. So sine of pi is zero. This will become zero and sine of minus pi is also zero. So we will be left with a squared divided by four. And this is plus L divided by two and minus into minus plus L divided by two. So now this is a squared divided by 4 and L divided by 2 plus L divided by 2 will give us 1 L. So this is that integration that is the numerator of that equation, right? So now this is equal to y tilde times dA integration is A square L divided by 4 and similarly this integral is this integral of dA is 2 L A divided by pi. So now this L will cancel out and 1A will cancel out. So we can write it as uh, here we are left with A divided by 4 and here we are left with 2 divided by pi. So we can write it as pi A divided by 8. So this is Y bar of the centroid. So now we can find pi divided by 8. If we simplify it, so pi divided by 8 so this gives me 0 0.39 we can add the 0 0.39 a this is y bar so this means that the centroid of this blue shaded area is somewhere here and this height is 0 0.39 times a right so this is the location of the centroid of this blue shaded area and the x coordinate of this particular point is 0 and the y coordinate is 0 0.39a. So this is the solution of this problem. I hope you people would have understood this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler statics.